Okay, so 8.7, we're going to look at something called the equation of motion. So earlier on, we, uh, we saw that the vector sum of forces exerted on an object, right? Bunch of ob forces being applied to an object, the vector sum, if we add all of those force vectors up and we get a kind of a resultant, then this vector sum of forces is equal to the time rate of change in the object's momentum. Okay? So the, the object changes momentum over a specific time, and that is equal to the vector sum of the forces. Okay? So in terms of um, the average uh, rate of change of the object's momentum, we can look at this, the delta P of an object, delta T. However, the instantaneous time rate of change in momentum is when you let this this delta t tend to zero. You make this smaller and smaller and smaller so that you get the instantaneous, instantaneous time rate of change in momentum. And then this is equal to the sum of all the forces acting on a single object. Okay? So here we go. This is what we're after. Sum of the forces is equal to dp dt. It is the instantaneous time rate of change of an object's momentum. Okay? Now what is p? What, did, what is it? It is momentum and it is equal to mv. If we substitute mv into p there, we're going to have d dt of mv we know that the inertia is constant, so there's no change in the inertia. We, we can take that out. And so we've got m dv dt. And what is dv dt? We know that it is acceleration. So this is where the equation of motion comes from. The sum of the forces is equal to ma. So this is now, this is the equation of motion. Um, this is a general case in one, in one direction, in the x direction. It looks like this. Some of the forces in, in, uh, in the x is equal to mAx. So th and this is just rearranging it. So this, this is called the equation of motion. 8 8.7, 8 8.7, 8.6, 8.7 is called the equation of motion. So basically... If we have the acceleration, then it's possible to determine the vector sum of forces. And if we have the vector sum of forces, we are able then to determine the acceleration. And just finally, um, the SI unit for force is the Newton, one Newton, which is one kilogram meter per second squared. Okay.